Governor Amadou Umaru Fintiri has warned government officials on engaging in unwholesome activities that have the tendency to spur them into engaging in corruption while discharging their official functions. The governor made the call while delivering a keynote address at the two-day uh, two retreat organized by the Adamawa state government in collaboration with USAID, Nigeria, and GIZ for commis commissioners and permanent secretaries at the AUN in Yola. Governor Fintiri said the theme of the retreat is consolidating on good governance issues and perspectives for Adamawa State. Anyone who is found wanting in his or her capacity as a government officials will not only be shown the way out, but will be prosecuted. These are turbulent times, security-wise. The retreat has a special presentation for you on tips on security of lives and property. Distinguished participants, you will agree with me that the next two days are fully packaged. They are days loaded with activities that are enough justification to take you out of the comfort of our virus offices. In your virus offices and roles as top government officials of this administration, I call on you to be cost conscious if there is a project we can do for one night. Let's do it for one night and not two night. I will not be said to reject many ones which said to plot the state into bankruptcy. The governor further reiterated his zero tolerance for corruption. He vowed to penalize government officials found wanting in violating the directive. He called on them to be prudent in the management of state resources. The Secretary to the State Government, Honorable Awal Tukuru, welcomed all to the event and appealed to participants and collaborating partners that the retreat will afford them the opportunity to improve themselves for the benefit of the state. Therefore, the decision to have this retreat early in this administration is well timed to enable us all and indeed other persons within the government of Adama State to collectively contribute towards the Adama state our people require and desire. We have just emerged from the first tenure of His Excellency, which was anchored on an 11-point agenda. We can all fondly recall the remarkable expression of His Excellency's mantra, nobody is left behind and nothing is left untouched. And now looking forward towards the next four years, where His Excellency has recalibrated his government policy and direction into an eight-point agenda that is set to deliver increased good governance and entrenched democratic values and will continue to be beneficial to the good people of Adamawa State. For the vision of His Excellency to be achieved, all of us, we are charged to pursue diligently with all vigor His Excellency's eight-point agenda. The independent Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.